Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions, and this is the review of the Lenovo P11 Pro. This tablet is packed with features that make it a formidable device. With 6GB of RAM, 128GB of built-in storage, and a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor, this tablet certainly is built for speed and power. The display is also top-notch, featuring a resolution of 2560 by 1600 so whether you're streaming movies, playing games, or working on the go, this tablet is sure to impress you. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the P11 Pro's design, performance, and features to help you decide if it's the right tablet for you. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the design and build quality. The build quality of this tablet is probably one of the best things about it. Having used iPads and other Samsung devices in the past, I was perhaps subconsciously thinking that the build quality would be kind of mediocre, but boy was I wrong. The device is built surprisingly well with a solid construction that feels sturdy and durable, and the materials are high quality. And the tablet is put together with precision and attention to detail. It's fair to say that Apple has set the standard for how devices should be built, and I have to say this tablet is right up there with the best of them. In terms of build quality, you really could mistake this for an Apple product. It's excellent. The combination of its slim and light design with high quality materials and construction make it a device that not only looks good, but also feels great in your hand. Overall, I am very impressed with the build quality of this tablet, and it's one of the standout features. It's a device that is actually built to last, and it's clear that a lot of care and attention went into its construction. The tablet is designed with functionality and end-user friendliness in mind. When holding the tablet horizontally, at the top left corner you'll find the multifunctional buttons. These are mainly used as volume up and volume down. Moving to the upper center of the tablet, there are two camera holes for the front-facing camera. And just above them you have the microphone holes to ensure clear communication. On the right side, or bottom if you're holding it vertically, you have two of the JBL speakers, as well as the USB-C port. This can be used for charging or data transfer. This basically means you can quickly charge things, transfer data over to it. And also the JBL speakers are in a great position for optimal sound quality. On the bottom, when holding it horizontally, you have a connection for a keyboard, which is great because you can either use a keyboard or not. I personally don't, but it's nice to have the option to attach a keyboard and work away rather than tapping the on-screen keyboard. On the left side, when holding the tablet horizontally, you'll find that the other two JBL speakers are there, as well as a port for inserting a micro SD card. This is used for expandable storage. It is worth noting that the expandable storage is limited to 512 gigabytes. So if you're someone who needs a lot of storage, you may want to keep that in mind. However, for most users, the expandable storage feature will be convenient and a useful addition to the tablet. The JBL speakers on this side also provide great sound quality and are in a really good position for optimal sound again. With four speakers total, you can't really fault the sound quality. For those of you interested, here's a few examples of sound recordings directly from my microphone from the tablet, so you can kind of get an idea of how good the sound quality is. Granted, it's through a microphone, recording a tablet directly, then you're gonna listen to it through your speakers, so maybe not the perfect test, but it's close enough. Here we go. The back of the Lenovo P11 Pro features a sleek, matte grey finish that gives the tablet a professional and premium look. In the top corner you'll find two cameras which are positioned in a way that doesn't detract from the overall design. You also have a subtle Lenovo logo, doesn't get in the way, doesn't detract from the design, fits in just fine. The display is probably one of the core features that's most important with a tablet, and I'm happy to say that the display is sharp, clear, and vibrant, making it perfect for consuming media, playing games, video chatting, and much, much more. 
The colour accuracy seems to be spot on and the contrast is superb, making it easy on the eyes even when you're using it for long periods of time. Whether you're watching a movie, scrolling through social media or working on a presentation, the display is sure to impress. It's also great for pictures. You'll be able to see all of the details of the images while zooming in and zooming out. One downside that you have to bear in mind is the display is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. So you want to make sure to keep it clean and in tip top condition to maintain the best possible viewing experience. Let's talk about the performance now. The Lenovo P11 Pro offers outstanding performance for everyday use. It's six gigabytes of RAM and Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor makes handling multitasking and running multiple apps a breeze. I did try and put it to the test by opening multiple apps at once and then quickly switching between them to see if I could make it lag or slow down, but I couldn't find anything that would make this happen. Obviously, if you overload it with a massive amount of files, folders and switch between a million apps, it's going to go slow. But on a day to day use with this tablet, I couldn't find any way to slow it down. And to be honest, this is exactly what you want with a tablet. It should be able to handle all of your day to day needs without any hiccups. The 128 gigabytes of built in storage that it comes with is ample space for all of your files and media and the battery life is more than enough to get you through the day. Overall, the performance of the P11 Pro is top notch and it does make it feel like it's a great choice for anyone looking for a powerful and reliable tablet. There are more powerful tablets out there. There are more reliable ones. I'm looking at you, Apple. But for an Android tablet, you can't really go too far wrong with this one. The two cameras on the front of this tablet are both eight megapixels, providing great resolution for selfies and video calls. The front facing camera also includes features such as beauty mode and face recognition to enhance your photos. On the rear of the tablet, however, there are two cameras again, but this time one with 13 megapixels and the other with five. The 13 megapixel camera is the main camera and is perfect for capturing high resolution images with great detail and color accuracy. And the five megapixel camera as an ultra wide angle or as a depth sensor for portrait mode. The combination of these two cameras on the back provides even more flexibility for photography and videography. The 13 megapixel camera will let you take wide angle shots, whereas the five megapixel camera will help you take portraits with a nice effect. While the cameras on this tablet may not be the best in the world, they are more than sufficient for day to day use because realistically, who takes pictures with tablets? I might be wrong, but out in the wild, you don't really see many people taking pictures with tablets. It's mainly just for consuming media rather than generating it. I could be wrong, but that's what I've seen. I have a series of pictures on the screen now to demonstrate the capabilities of the cameras. They're not going to win any awards, but they will certainly get the job done. If you're out and about and you happen to have your tablet on you, you can take a family portrait on a selfie, or you can take a picture of some landscape shot. It will do just fine but it won't be anything amazing. And I think that's pretty much every single tablet that exists in this range anyway. The battery life on the Lenovo P11 Pro is quite good. With light usage, you should expect to get anywhere between seven and nine hours of usage out of a single charge. However, battery life can vary depending on the specific task that you're performing and the settings you have configured. The 2K OLED display and the four JBL speakers will consume most of the power of this tablet. However, I found the battery life to be fairly decent. The tablet also supports Qualcomm quick charging, so you can quickly top up your battery when you need it. So I would say the battery life is fair to good. You'll find that if you use the tablet lightly to moderately, you're going to get yourself through the day with no issues and no need to recharge. And if you do need to recharge, the charging using Qualcomm quick charging will mean you can literally plug it in, go make a cup of coffee, come back and you've got enough charge for a decent amount of time. This tablet is running Android 11. One of the good points about having Android 11 on this tablet is that it offers a wide range of features and customization options. Android 11 offers new privacy controls, conversation bubbles and improved notifications. Additionally, it offers more 
intuitive interfaces, making it easier to navigate and use. Having access to the Google Play Store also allows you to download a vast array of apps, games, and productivity tools. On the other hand, one of the bad points about having Android 11 on this tablet is that it may not be as stable as other operating systems and may experience the occasional bug or glitch or crash. Additionally, since Android is an open source platform, not all apps are optimized for tablets and some may just not work as well as others. To finish this review off then, let's cover the strengths and the weaknesses and a quick summary. The strengths. The ultra slim and light design make it easy to take with you on the go. The 11.5 inch 2K OLED display offers stunning visuals with vibrant colors and deep blacks. Four JBL speakers provide an outstanding audio experience and the long battery life allows for hours of use without needing to charge. And then you can use the quick charge just to top it up. Works great. Some of the weaknesses, the Android 11 operating system might not be everyone's cup of tea. So it's important to do your research before purchasing. A tablet is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. So regular cleaning is necessary. Storage capacity might be limited for some with the 512 gigabyte limit on the expandable storage and the 128 gigabytes of internal storage included. The camera quality might not be as good as people are hoping for with this tablet. I think it does a fine job of taking pictures, taking videos on both the front and back cameras. But hey, you're not going to please everyone. And at this kind of price range and this range of tablet, you can only expect so much. And those are really the main strengths and weaknesses that I can think of. I would recommend this 11.5 inch tablet to anyone who values portability and high quality visuals and audio. It's ultra slim and light design make it easy to just take with you wherever you want to on the go, set it up and consume your media, take a few photos and just go about your life with it. Whether you're commuting to work, traveling or simply just running errands. The 11.5 inch 2K OLED display and four JBL speakers make it perfect for streaming movies, music and videos, or for working on any document that you desire. The long battery life is also a plus, meaning you can use it for hours on end without needing to charge. It's also a great option for those who want a high performance device that can handle multitasking and running fairly demanding apps. The device might not be suitable for those who are looking for a device primarily for gaming or those who are looking for a device at a very, very low budget price. And it might not be suitable for those looking for an ultra high end device with devices like the iPad Pro and others existing. Overall, then, if you're in the market for a tablet that packs a punch, I wouldn't really look any further than this one. It is quite a powerhouse for the price that you pay. Not only is it ultra slim and light, but it also features that amazing 2K OLED display that really will surprise you. And it just makes the movies and shows and other videos that you watch just pop. Plus with four JBL speakers, your audio in games and everything else will be on point, whether you're watching a movie or just your favorite tunes. And also the long battery life will mean you can use it for hours on end without having to constantly look for an outlet. As you're in the market for a tablet, please consider this one. They haven't provided me this as a review unit. For transparency, I bought this tablet myself. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Az Productions with the review of the Lenovo P11 Pro 11.5 inch OLED tablet.